I mean, it kind of amazes me that he was yeah. able to get away with that. Yeah. And then I read, whatever, that, that's a very boring story. Anyways, did you buy new plants again? What, what do you mean? Seriously? Oh, the, the, these, these old things? <laughs> no, they have always been there. Mm, that doesn't seem like it's true. Oh, well, see, I have this thing. I bought 30 plants over the last 90 days, and really, if you divide 30 by 90, it is less than 0.5, and you can really round that down to zero, so I did not buy any plants. Yeah, I don't think it really works like that. I'm pretty sure it does. I aced maths in school. I can physically touch them. They are real. They are definitely here, so you did not buy zero plants. You're so mean. Hey man, just keeping it real. <laughs> Ooh, properly cool. Well, hello, plant whisperers. That's your new name. We will settle on a better name one day, just like we will one day settle on the better background for the videos. But you know, that day might not be today. This is Mira from Basie Plants, and welcome to my channel. Since all of you loved my 100% scientifically proven and highly accurate math, today, after chatting with my friend Kathy, I decided to make a zero plant haul. Don't worry, I'm not gonna just sit here and not show you any plants and have you know watch me for 10 minutes that would be very cruel instead i will show you some plants that i have acquired over the summer but you didn't get to see them in that video so they are all fair game and to all of you who are new and you don't know what video i'm referring to it's my 2020 summer haul video <laughs> you gotta catch up can't go on like this. The reason I didn't show you these plants in my last video is because it would be over an hour long video and no one wants to sit there and watch me for an hour talk about plants. So you know, I made it short and I know some of you will say, well, 18 minutes is not that short. Well, you know what? It's shorter than one hour, so take what you can. Also, it worked out great because now I get to do this video, right? Today, I will show you five plants and believe it or not, none of them are Hoyas. These plants are some of the plants that I also like, so I wanted to highlight them in this video, and I hope you will like them too. So, let's begin. The first plant I would like to show you is this Philodendron Florida. I have been wanting Philodendron Florida for quite some time now. This leaf is a bit damaged in the transport, but that's fine. We will, of course, get new leaves. I do need to repot this guy. If you remember from a video, I did tell you that I repotted them as soon as I can, and you know, I just did not have time to do it. So, you know, it's not a big plant, but it's very lovely, and I will give it some support so it can climb. I really love this type of philodendron, and I was hoping I could get philodendron Florida ghost, but no such luck yet. For those who are into a bit of a fuzz, this one has slightly fuzzy petiole. It's not very fuzzy, just very, 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 just a slight fuzz, just like you going into the winter. It's not like Philodendron Scomiferum, which is full on winter, and it's not like Philodendron Pedatum, which is, you know, spring and summer. This is like November, going into the fall. That's, that's the type of fuzz that this has. Actually, Philodendron Squamiferum and Philodendron Pedatum, which I have both, are the parents of this plant, or so I read. I have your mommy and daddy too. I have the entire family now. The next philodendron that I would like to show you, I wanted for a long time. It's supposedly easy to get, but it did take me some time to find it, but I did. So let's see what that is. This is philodendron micans. You can totally see the tag, that's how, how I'm just on top of this situation. I actually do have a cutting of this plant that a friend gifted me and it is growing nicely. In fact, I chopped it up into smaller pieces and I have it now in various pots, but I just couldn't resist getting a fuller and a bushier plant. I just love the velvety texture of the leaves. I think they look quite beautiful, especially the new leaves. They have this... Um, darker shine to them, I think. They look very lovely. This is also one of the newer leaves. I was debating whether I should put this on a pole or not, but I think I'm just gonna leave it as a hanging plant, because I think it will look very nice. But in general, I think this is really a very easy philodendron to, to 
take care of. The one that I have is incredibly easy. It grows really fast. So I don't think I will have any issues with this. And the next plant that I have is in fact not one plant. It's two plants. Well, actually three, but like one is a duplicate. So that doesn't count because we know how math works. They are actually two Peperomias three, but you will see what I mean when I show them to you. Be patient. Now I have two Peperomia caparatas and one Peperomia orba. So let's take a look at the Peperomia orba first. So this is the variegated version of Peperomia orba and it still has the price tag as well. I did not remove it. It came in this ceramic container or pot and it does not have any drainage holes. So you do need to repot this. I'm very careful with watering. In fact, it's a bit on the dry side. So we need to take care of the situation there so it can thrive and I can water it freely. Not that I will give it too much water. I have two Peperomia caparatas and I think the cultivar name is Abricos. Now, why I have two? <laughs> why not? One of them was sent to me by a friend and it did not have the best time in shipping. And I think it's this one. Uh, ironically, I confused them now. I don't because they look both look good in the end. Uh, but one, when it arrived, it did not look that great. So I have this one and I have this one. So I think they both look okay. We do have some dry leaves, so you know we. I really need to repot them. The mix is getting um, very firm. <laughs> the term is dry. But I really love these because they have that pinkish edge margin and they kind of remind me of African violets that I have. And of course, I love the green pots. I think I'm going to keep them in the green pots. I will just repot them in a pot with a drainage hole and keep this as a cover pot. And I will show you the violet that I think of. Now, unfortunately, I lost the tag, but you, know, you can see that it looks very nice. Pinkish purple purplish edge. The next plant I have to show is something that I already have but we had some issues and I will explain it in a moment. So let's see what the next plant is. This is Stramanthi Sanguinea Trio Star. And honey, you're taking up my frame, you're taking up my spotlight. We'll talk about this later. This is my Stramanthi. In fact, I have this plant and I had it, I still have it. It was slightly bigger than this one, which is quite pathetic because you will see how it looks now. I had a, a lot of thrips last year and spider mites and you know, all of that good stuff. Plant just kept dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. Anyways, you get the point. I had to cut it back all the way and now it's super tiny. I cannot believe it was actually bigger than this one. I will show you. It will be embarrassing. Get ready. And the reason why the pot is so big is because the rhizome is big and you can see the two small ones. So this one, that's one and this is the other one. And the third one in the back, uh, well, actually didn't suffer that much because it was a, in fact a small plant. This is the magic star and then these are the trio stars, but this was quite big, so it's pathetic to see this, but you know, whatever, judge me if you want. They are in self-watering pots now, and the 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 big one, with it, she will also be in self-watering pot. I just didn't get around to doing it. That's I think that should be the theme of this video, the things I didn't get to do with my plants. And the last plant that I have is actually a cutting I got in a trade, so it actually is a plant that I didn't pay for. It's like zero plants, I guess. But if it takes up space, I guess it's not really zero. We will work on that. This is also an area I've been wanting for some time. So let's see what it is. It's an Epipremnum pinnatum. The framing is excellent. So let me just show you this plant. It's not a big cutting. I have to pot it in something that's not it's not gonna even tell you what it's potted in. I'm not gonna go there. Uh, so this is the the cutting that I have. Uh, the the tip it died back in the in the mail. I think it got damaged. No, it did not get damaged. Actually, I have another cutting of this. It's rooting, but it already is pushing out new growth here. This is a plant that I cannot really find here. So I'm very grateful that a friend decided to trade with me for this plant. I hear this is a very fast growing plant. So um, we will see how it will do. I hope it does well. And I hope I get a lot of these 
fenestrated leaves, it really should be a no fuss and easy to take care for plant. And it might even get this very nice spot. We will see. Those are the five plants that I got and that I didn't get to show you. So I hope you enjoyed watching them. And of course, I will give you an update on how they do. I really hope they do well, except of maybe peperomias. Those, those guys are tricky. Let me know if you find peperomias tricky too. And if you don't, who are you? Are you are you summer rain oaks if you don't find them tricky? Also, I think it is nice to shine some of that spotlight on plants that are maybe less uncommon, which is a word that I don't really like because all plants are magical. Tu es magique. Now, I also wanted to make this a tag type of a video. So, you know, if you are tagged in this video and you don't feel like doing it, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get over this. I'll, I'll forget this. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm just making a list. It's not, not, not related to this video. So the five YouTubers that I would like to tag are Kathy L from Australia. Her channel is Kathy's Projects, where you can see her videos. Rose from Yoga and Plants with Rose. It's a funny thing, both Rose and I confused each other's name. Well, she actually did not confuse my name, it's just because I probably wasn't saying my name clearly enough and she couldn't hear it and I'm just, you know, stupid and even though I know her name is Rose, I keep reading Ross. I don't know, I always want to say Yoga and Plants with Ross. I know it's not Ross. But imagine how cool it would be if David Schwimmer had a YouTube channel about plants. Just think about that. Becca from Botanical Bex, she's just starting out her YouTube channel, so you know, give her some of that plant love. I would also like to tag Reb from Plantastica. Her videos are very funny to watch and her thumbnail game is strong. The last YouTuber I would like to tag is wonderful Ava from The Girl in Green. She's currently redoing her garden outside in her videos, but she is also into houseplants and her videos are very beautiful to watch and just give you this sense of calm and peace. So, you know, make sure to check out her videos as well. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I totally don't mind if you subscribe. I mean, I even encourage that. You can also hit the notification button and every time I upload, you will get a notification because I'm sure that's what all of us want. You can now also support me on Patreon if that's something that you would like to do. You can find the link to my Patreon page in the description below. And before we tune out, let me know in the comments below, what are some tricks that you use to hide the plants that you bought? Do you hide them behind yourself? How do you justify buying those plants? Do you use my math? Do you have any other way to justify that or to hide them? Let me know. I also want to take some time to thank my patrons. A big shout out to my $5 patrons, the one and only Betsy Begonia and my wonderful friend, Melissa Walker. And I would also like to thank my $3 patrons, the amazing Kathy L and Becca Penyard. And Becca, I hope that I'm saying your last name correctly. If I'm not, well, let me know. Thank you for your support and I hope that you are enjoying the videos. That is all for today. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will see you again in my next video. Now I have to go and finish this tea. Bye!